There's the Las Vegas airport. We'll be at the Desert Center Motel if you need us, Mr. Morris. Fine. I want to leave early in the morning, say 8 or 8.30. We'll be ready. Thank you. Don't forget now, 8 or 8.30. Right. Did you see that wad of $100 bills he had? I sure did. I bet he's a gambler, particularly after the advice he just gave us. He's carrying a gun, too. I found a shoulder holster when I helped him out. Listen, if I was carrying that much money in my pocket, I'd wear a gun, too. Well, it's his business. Come on, let's see about a tie-down. so early, but I gotta leave right now. It's only five o'clock in the morning. I know, I know, but I gotta go back right now. Okay, okay. Come on, PC, we're leaving. Give me the airport, please. I'll be waiting in the cab. Hello, this is Chuck Martin. Is that gate open so we can get to our copter? Good, we'll be out in 15 minutes. What's the rush? I don't know, Mr. Morris wants to leave right now. Something wrong, Mr. Morris? No, no, of course not. I just discovered I had to go back very suddenly, that's all. Call to make. Sure, go ahead. Thanks. Strange guy, isn't he? Yeah, there's a man with something on his mind. Yeah. I have a feeling we're a lot better off not knowing what it is. Let's get the wheels down. Everything all right? That's fine. Here's a hundred for being waked up in the middle of the night. Well, thank you, Mr. Morris. Sure. I've ordered a cab and I'll wait for it outside. Fine. Man, I get up at five in the morning every day of the week for an extra hundred bucks. Hi, Ellen. Hundred dollar bonus for Mr. Morris. Oh, wonderful. Did he call his cab? He wasn't in here. He wasn't. There was no phone in the hangar. Something wrong? You suppose that was his car parked near the copter?
and call the police. Somebody just shot Mr. Morris. No. It says here the police have no idea why Morris was killed. A professional gambler, huh? Yeah, he was well known to the police. I sure wish I could have identified those two men, but they're too far away. He probably made a killing in Las Vegas and filled his briefcase full of loot. That's probably the reason he... He didn't have that briefcase when he came out of the hangar. I don't remember seeing it either. Looks like that briefcase is pretty important. Sure made enough of a mess. Well, I better get started straightening up the office. You know, P.T., I don't figure they found that briefcase. Why not? Well, look around. They didn't miss a thing. They've been in it everything. Well, they might have found it in the last place they looked. Maybe. Maybe not. Look, they even moved this crate out from the wall. What would they do that for? Hey. Get it down. Oh, no, that's up to the police. Hey, you. I want to take a trip. Well, sure. We'll be with you in just a minute. Now. No talk. Just get that thing outside and let's go. You know what this is all about. You'll find out when you're supposed to find out. Put her down by that car. What about the copter? It'll keep. I'd rather not leave it unattended. Take it easy, bud. Maybe you won't be back for it.
me light, Jimmy. What are they like? A couple of guys. Oh? Think they know where it is? Who knows? Bring them in. How about letting us know what this is all about? It's about $150,000 that was stolen the night before last. $150,000? That's right. And I want it back. Well, who stole it? The man you flew to Las Vegas, Jerry Morris. Jerry Morris? It's a man that was killed yesterday. I know. And now I want the money. Well, uh, what makes you think we know anything about it? Jerry walked into your hangar with a briefcase. That's right. He walked out without it, and the money was not found on him. Then it was your boys that looked for it in our hangar. That's right. It was my money. He came into my place and cleaned it out. Well, I'm sorry we can't help you. <laughs> oh, I need a better answer than that. Better talk it over, boys. Look, we're going to get that money back, so you better make it easy on yourselves. All right, Jimmy. I'll say what she didn't say. Cough up the door, you'll end up like Jerry Morris. Well, look, suppose we don't know where it is. You might remember if Bert and I work you over a bit. I'll be outside. Just yell if you want me. Look, Chuck, why take a chance? It's her dough. Yeah, I know, but they killed a man. Well, let the cops worry about that. I'm worried about our chances after we tell them where the money is. Well, maybe we can make a trade. Yeah, we got to figure out something before we tell them. Well, if we just say we don't know. You know what they'll do? They'll work us over until we remember. Yeah. How about that dame? It's sure hard to think of a woman as a killer. Well, we just got to take a chance and try to get away somehow. It won't be easy. Hey, Jimmy. Memory a little better? Yeah, okay, you win. Well? All right. We found the briefcase just before Jimmy picked us up. Where is it? Let's talk about what's going to happen to us first. One of you stays here, the other goes with Jimmy to pick up the money. When he comes back, we turn you both loose. How do we know? You don't. It's a chance you have to take. It's no good. We want a better deal than that. You've got no choice, Flyboy. Take it easy, Jimmy. What do you have in mind? You turn us loose, then we'll give you the briefcase. <laughs> now you're asking me to trust you? That's right. Sorry, we'll do it my way. I'll go back with him and pick up the dough. On um, second thought, I think I'll go with you. But I can handle this alone. A hundred and fifty thousand is too much temptation. You might decide to run with it. Okay, okay. I'll be right with you as soon as I change. There's the field. Land in the exact place you landed with Morris. And don't try to tip anybody off with a cockeyed landing. If she comes out, play it straight. We're customers. We missed that. You want to get it? You'd like me to get up in that box, wouldn't you? 
You get it. Chuck, where have you been? Call the police, Helen. Come on, let's get out of here. They still got a hold of him. What's this all about? The guy Morris that was killed, he was carrying $150,000 in his briefcase. Where is it now? They probably ran off with it. I think I can find the place they took us. What shall I tell the police? Look, I'll keep in touch with you by radio. If I do find the place, you notify the local sheriff, will you? I gotta get there before they do. Ooh. Why? Now that they've got their money back, PT's life isn't worth a plug nickel. Explain the setup to the police. I will. Good luck, Chuck. <laughs> Helicopter 75B. Come in, please. Over. This is Longwood Field. Come in. Helen, I'm over the spot where we landed. Over. The sheriff's on Highway 60, about five miles away. Have him cut over to Route 30. Out. All right, Chuck. Longwood Field calling Sheriff Bronson. Longwood Field calling Sheriff Bronson. Come in. This is Sheriff Bronson. Chuck just checked in. He wants you to cut over to Route 30. Roger, will do. and that girl can identify us. Yeah, well, we're going to have to take a trip back to town and take care of them. What about the other flyboy, the one we got here? Oh, yeah. Nothing to tie us into Jerry Morris if they're all out of the way. We'll take him with us. We don't want him found near here. I'll be right out. I'm going to pack. Highway. If it's not, I'm wasting time. They'll get there before I do. I think this is it. If it is, we went along here for about five minutes at about 70 miles an hour. Then we made a right turn onto a dirt road. I've got a map here. There is a new dirt highway joining Route 30. You're right. Hey, wait a minute. I see the junction. This might be it. you remember? Well, if this is it, we're on it for a long time. It's a cinch you'll get there before I do now. I'll tell Sheriff Bronson where you are. Roger it out. All right, in the car. Why didn't you bring Chuck back with you? He got smart, too smart. Why, you... All he's got is a sore head.
This is Sheriff Bronson. Go ahead. Chuck just turned off of Route 30 onto a new dirt highway. Roger. I'm on my way. Longwood, this is 75B. Do you still read me over? This is Longwood Field. I read you. Tell him, where's the sheriff now? He's on Route 30, very near where you turned off. I hope I'm right about this. We wasted an awful lot of time. I've been checking the map. It's the only road that cuts through the hills. Roger. This is the end of the line. He spotted us. Let's go. He can wait. Helen, I've just spotted a convertible. It might be them. I'm going down for a closer look. the sheriff. He should be almost there. I'll try to slow them down until he gets here. The sheriff's here, Helen. He's got him. Thank goodness. 